Hello everyone, and we are back with another short tutorial on how to make animation in PowerPoint. This project was pending since 2019, and I had dropped it out in the middle. But today I thought to share a technique with you that I had used in this presentation. It's a replication of Angela He's project at CodePen.io. She made this girl responsive using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Unfortunately, this pen is not loading fully, as the sources of the pictures are not found. I tried to upload the same PNG files on GitHub and changed the links, but that didn't work. Instead of CSS and HTML codes, we are using PowerPoint effects to animate this girl. Here in the HTML codes, we can see that different parts of the pictures have been used for animation purposes. So, we used the same technique, and here we have this presentation, where for demonstration, we placed each body part on a separate slide. On the first slide, we have the body, which is static and we have not applied any animation effect to it. However, in the original animation, the body also has movements, but that kind of movement can only be made in PowerPoint upon 3D models. Then we have the hair bun on the second slide, on which we have applied a short left motion path with auto-reverse. So the hair bun moves to the left and then auto-reverse. For the eyes on the third slide, we used the same left motion path effect with auto-reverse. The hair bun and the eyes both have the same movements. On the fourth slide, we have the face, and if I zoom in, then you can notice that the area of the eyes has been subtracted from the face. If I turn on the eyes layer on this slide, then you can see that the eyes are separate from the face and are behind the face. The face is static and only eyes have the movements. The fifth slide has the hand on which we have applied the spin and grow shrink effects. We have also defined a custom anchor point, so we may spin the hand from the position that we want. During the hand movement, the hand size also gets shrink, so it may look as the hand is moving a little bit backward. We applied arc motion path and spin effects to the arm on the sixth slide, and that is to match the movement with the hand. So does the wrist on the seventh slide has the same arc and spin effects as we applied on the arm. Then on the eighth slide, we have the brush, which also has the same animation effects. All of these separate picture layers move in the same direction and then reverse back. Finally, if we combine all these picture layers on a single slide, having all these animation effects, then we get a static picture in motion. The only requirement to add life to the static pictures is to have each picture part in separate layer that you want to animate. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.